Abbas said to me in 1959 when I asked her, do you think I'm material for Regina Laudis? And she said, you go back and do your movie thing and get it out of your system. And she was very wise because I was too young and I was in some sort of a romance with the idea. I wasn't really ready for it. So it was five years doing my movie thing before she finally said, yes, I could try it. You see, I had wanted to be an actress since I was seven years old. And I really felt this was my destiny. But my grandfather had a motion picture operator's license and he would show the films up in the booth. I would go with him as a little, maybe that big, and spend the day watching the movies. The first film I made, Loving You, afterwards, the director came to me and said, where did you study filmmaking? And I said, I guess it just comes naturally. I woke up in a dream, my grandfather saying to me, you are a little devil. I gave you all of that opportunity and you never told him the truth. You said, oh, I don't know where I got it. You got it from me. <laughs> I had a feeling after having 10 movies come my way and a, a, a stint on Broadway, God gave me an awful lot very fast. And the thought came to me, I wonder if I should give back something, if I should say something into this to take it further rather than just spend my life doing one more good movie after another because it's not going to make me any happier. What is going to be a richer, more fulfilling way of doing this? That wasn't, I'd say, the reason I went into the, the monastery. But somewhere, those thoughts did occur to me, that life has a bigger meaning than you think it does. There's more to be learned. Every human being has a mission. Everyone you meet has a purpose. And you can't just stop with making movies as the end-all and be-all. <laughs>